So in this part, what we're going to do is create the program corresponding to the playback. So as you noticed in the previous tutorials, when the sound is originally being played, whenever a sound is played, the corresponding file name is being stored in this list called notes. So when the submit, when the playback button is pressed, what we want to do is we want to read all the sound file names that are stored in this notes list and play each one. The way we're going to do it is we're going to add a timer which expires every second and whenever the timer expires it plays one file name from these no, this notes list. So the first time the timer expires it plays the first file name from this list. The second time the timer expires it plays the second item from this list and so forth. So we're going to go back to the browser and add a clock component which will be used for our timer. Now notice when we add a clock component it's automatically set to 1000 millisecond which is one second. So this means when the timer is enabled it will expire every second. So now what we want to do is we want to go to playback button and with when the playback button is clicked we first want to enable the timer so we go to clock one and drag this clock one the timer enabled and we set it to true now another thing that we want to do is we want to create a counter variable so we go to built-in definition drag this variable name it counter set it to one as its initial value so each time the timer expires what we're gonna do is we're gonna increment the value of this counter variable by one so the first time the timer expires this value is going to be one and we're gonna use this value to look up one item from this notes list and play that now if you go back to my blocks and clock one you'll notice the very first block under this clock one is clock one dot timer. This clock one dot timer is the block that is executed each time the clock the timer expires. So the first time the timer expires we want to play the first item from this notes list and that position, the position number one is going to be determined by this counter variable. So next time we want to play the second element. So after playing the first sound, we want to increment the counter variable by one and so forth. And we want to keep on doing it until the counter variable is greater than the length of the notes list. So we want to go to built-in, logic, drag one of the if-elses. And then we want to go to, just click here, math less than equal to. And for this first part of the less than equal to, we go to built-in lists, drag this length of, sorry, this length of list goes to the second part. We go to my blocks, my definitions global notes list and for the first part we go to my blocks my definition counter so what we are basically saying over here is if counters value is less than the length of this notes list we want to execute the blocks that are here if it is on the other hand greater than the value of the length of list then we want to execute the blocks over here actually we want to execute this blocks when the counters value is less than or equal to not less than so when let's say counter is one we want to play the first item of this list when counter is two we want to play the second item of this list and so forth so now what we want to do is we want to go to my blocks sound and set the sound dot source to the content of the notes list as determined by the counter. So we go to built-in lists select list item my blocks my definition notes 
my blocks my definition counter so what this means is when counter is one this is selecting the first element from the notes list and that's sound files name so it's setting this sound dot source to the first sound name in the notes list and now what we want to do is just play that sound now after this we also want to increment the counter by one so we take the original value of the counter which we can get from my blocks my definition global counter and increment that by one so what we are saying over here is first time around when we set counter to one let's say the length of the list is for the first so the first time around we play the first element increment counter to two that's still less than or equal to four so we play the second element second item from the notes list increment counter to three play the third element increment counter to four play the fourth element increment counter to five so at that point the value of counter is greater than the length of the list so we don't play anything anymore so at that point we want to stop the timer so we go to clock one and drag this timer dot enabled to false now do notice each time when I hit this playback button first time when I hit the playback button counter was set to one but next time when I hit the playback button I want to reinitialize the counter value to one so I'm going to go to my definitions set counter to one so that should do it let's see whether it works or not I'm going to reset it one time So whatever I'm played got stored in this notes list. So now it got played back. I'll reset it again and I'm going to set a watch for this counter variable. So now notice. That's it.